Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you five tips that have significantly helped me improve my focus and productivity when I'm using my computer. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Tip number one, and definitely my most favorite tip, is to use the full screen mode on your browser when you're trying to focus on just one website or one tab. If you're like me, you often have the habit of opening so many tabs on your browser. It's definitely very distracting and it's very tempting to just switch to another tab to maybe check some emails or maybe check your social media and maybe open a new tab to, to do something else. Using full screen mode has completely changed my browsing experience and my ability to focus. Tip number two use the keyboard shortcuts on your browser. For example, on Google Chrome, there are so many keyboard shortcuts that allow you to do most of the things that you want to do on, on a browser. My most favorite keyboards is Ctrl T for open a new tab, Ctrl Shift T for reopen a closed tab, and Ctrl Shift N if I'm searching for something a bit embarrassing and I want to switch to the incognito mode. Tip number three, use the keyboard shortcuts for your Gmail. If you're a Gmail user, do you know that you can just press R if you want to reply to someone's email? You can go to your Gmail setting and turn on the keyboard shortcuts here. It is a much more effective way than to use the mouse to navigate to the reply button or maybe navigate to your back to your inbox. There are shortcuts for all of these activities. And imagine if you can save just like five seconds moving your mouse to back to your inbox or hitting reply button you could save probably 15 to half an hour every day tip number four is to improve your typing speed i think it is much of an often overlooked aspect of productivity meanwhile a lot of us are writing a lot whether it is writing emails documents reports or even writing code an average person type around 40 to 50 words per minute uh, I type around 80 words per minute, but that is nowhere close to the professional typist who, who can even type like more than 200 words per minute. Uh, but we are not aiming to, to, to be at that level. Uh, and it's definitely not necessary to be at that level in order to benefit from typing a bit faster. If you want to check your typing speed, there's a website called 10 where you can uh, take the test. There are also many different options for different languages if you want to take the test in different languages. I want to share with you a few tips that I have used to, to improve my typing speed. My first tip is to try to type with all of your fingers, so 10 fingers with the correct position on the keyboard. And that helps you to optimize the movement of your fingers on your keyboard and optimize your speed. And it also allows you to be free from having to look at the, the, the keyboard when you are typing. Definitely, it takes practice. I don't think that it is a gift to be able to type faster than others, but it is more that you practice and practice. Another tip that I have learned is that whenever you make a mistake, hit the control backspace button to correct the whole word instead of correcting letter by letter. Don't try to correct yourself all the time. If you keep doing that, it will significantly slow you down. A more efficient way is to just keep typing. You can always come back and correct your whole document in one batch. And that is a more efficient way to, to, to correct yourself. Tip number five, use the dual screen when you're working on two programs at the same time. Suppose that you're writing a document and you have to look up some information on the internet. You can pull out the two programs, the browser and the, and the word editor that you are using in order to use the two screen at the same time. Instead of having to switch back and forth between the two programs all the time, this of course will work better when you have a bigger screen. If you have a smaller screen, I think it can be a bit tricky because the windows would become too small. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have more tips and tricks that you want to share, please comment it down below and I'll see you in the next video.